what's an injury you sustained, and lied about how actually happened because it was too embarrassing. I once semi-dislocated my kneecap in such a way that my leg locked up and I was in incredible pain by sitting down to eat at the dinner table and twisting my leg somehow. I hurt myself sitting down. Instead I told my friends I had fallen down a steep hill on the local heathland, but my brother told them the truth and I was promptly mocked. I broke my toe running from a bee. I'm a huge weenie about stingy bugs, so when a bee got in my hair I freaked out. I ran toward the house, lost my balance, kicked the concrete step of mom's porch and fell backwards. Mom was sitting on the porch and I accidentally backhanded her before crashing to the ground. She was laughing so hard she couldn't help me up, and I was laughing so hard I couldn't get up. I was super embarrassed for a while and just told everyone I tripped. I got over the shame because it was pretty fucking funny, so I don't lie about it anymore. I was once buttering toast with my face really close to it, I like my butter to be spread precisely, then I sneezed and slammed my head on the counter, effectively knocking myself out, and had to go to the ER to be treated for a concussion. In third grade I was holding a pencil in my fist, point up. I sneezed and face planted into it. I'm 24 now and every once in a while someone tells me that I have blue ink on my forehead. I then have to tell them that it's actually a scar from stabbing myself in the face mid-sneeze. I can sympathize. Edit, thank you for the gold. For those asking, I'll try to see if I can post a picture tonight. I'm not sure how to add a photo to this. I once fell out of bed and cracked my head open on a metal frame. Blood everywhere, ER visit, stitches etc. I was about 6 years old, I still have the scar decades later. My mother literally changed our beds even though we really couldn't afford it to safer ones. The truth is, I didn't want to go to bed, so I flung myself out of bed to pretend to be hurt and maybe get to stay up for a short while longer. My sister probably has the same scar but luckily she has a ton of hair. As the older sister it was my job to convince her to do dumb things, and she listened when I told her to jump on the bed. But then she fell out and split her head on the metal bed frame. My dad rushed us to the hospital, and my mom came home from work to find us missing, blood everywhere, and no note or anything. Before cell phones. My dad and I were both in trouble after that. I got surgery a few years ago on my knees as I had dislodged some loose cartilage in the joint and also torn a bit of my meniscus. At the time I was playing a ton of ultimate frisbee, so I just told people it was that. It actually happened when I was getting up from a chair. I got a black eye as a kid. I slipped and fell into the support beam of my basketball rim. My dad made me lie to my other family members and say I got it defending some kids at school. He was pretty embarrassed at how terrible I was at basketball. Was getting hot and heavy with my boyfriend at the time. He reached under my shirt and unhooked my bra and then pulled my shirt and bra up over my head at the same time. As he did this the underwire in my cheap ass bra popped out and left a huge scratch right across my forehead. I made up some story about digging through my closet looking for something and getting scratched by a hanger. I have a scar that crossed my left eyebrow. It looks badass and I made it during a fight against a man with a knife. At least that is what I tell everybody, because saying my PS2 fell on my face cause I tried to lift it while not paying attention may be too stupid. Edit, I loved reading almost all the answers, apparently the stupidity is a common affair. First time I experienced the fire inbox and thanks for the gold, you kind stranger. My grandmother noticed a mark on my forehead. It was round and just under an inch in diameter. She asked me what happened, without missing a beat I straight up replied with, I burnt my head with my hair straightener. She grumbled that I should be more careful. What really happened you ask? I got my head stuck between the back seat and back arm rest of a car resulting in a friction burn, similar to carpet burn, while rooting slash getting laid slash bang slash having sexual relations in the back seat. Edit, clarification. I have these really ugly shoes that I wear around the house that my husband absolutely hate. I was taking laundry down the stairs and I fell down the stairs because of the shoes. 
I couldn't tell him that because then he will be correct that my shoes are stupid, so I told him that the dog ran between my legs and made me fall.